Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to feature the Escavalier Empoleon Lapras team, which I already used last season, and that was the team that I got 18 straight wins with. Uh, but the difference now is that we are in Season 3, and I'm going to use it in the Premier Cup. In the first game I go up against Aininek, and he leads with Magnuson, which is a very common lead right now, since Jonkus uses it in his team, and he is the number one player in Go Battle League right now. But uh, this is a great matchup, I just need to shield the wild charge and then farm down with counters, so I expect the switch, and then when he switches into Gyarados, I go into Lapras. So I'm still in a great position, and I will try to see if this Ice Beam connects, and if it does, I will just go for the straight farm down, because even when he hits me with a crunch, it, it's way too early to be a outrage, but uh, the crunch is not going to be enough and I can farm down all the way. And I go for the Ice Beam here, because uh, if he switches in his third Pokemon, then the Ice Beam will deal, will likely deal more damage. But if he switches in Magnuson in that position, then Ice Beam deals almost as much as a Surf would do. And his last Pokemon is Kingdra, so this is great for me now. I will take both of his shields, and then I will put him so low that uh, Empoleon will be able to handle it from there. So I spend one shield and go for the Mega Horn and then uh, the Empoleon will be able to farm down with only waterfalls and have a charge move ready for Magnuson. But my opponent instead just switches into Magnuson and it gets KO'd and then the Kingra is also too low. So that's the first game. My second opponent is Julius, and he leads with the most common Pokemon in Premier Cup, which is Venusaur. And this is great for me since I double resist all of his moves. And he switches into an Air Slash Togekiss, so I counter switch into my Lapras. And this is a great position for me. I'm not going to shield anything, because I know that uh, uh, I either leave this with a 2 shield advantage, and then even Empoleon can defeat the Venusaur. Uh, or I will uh, get the switch advantage. So he shielded once, but not twice. And then he can farm down with his uh, Venusaur. But that doesn't really matter, because that energy is worthless against Escavalier. Because this double resisted Frenzy Plant is barely going to deal any damage. And his last Pokemon is Lapras, so uh, it is walled by Empoleon. So this game wasn't really that fair, in the sense that uh, all three of his Pokémon were hard countered by my, my Pokémon. Uh, and he really didn't have an answer to uh, the Escavalier lead. Because a double shielded Escavalier could beat both Venusaur and Lapras. So, yeah, we will just see this through. Two tanks going at each other, and I double resist the Ice Shards. And then when the Venusaur comes back, I will just go for the uh, double Mega Horn, and I won't even need any shields this game. And the Lapras in the back doesn't have any HP left, so that's it. Next is game number 3 against Zephyr Shot, and he leads with Gengar, so this is the first time in this run that I get hard countered in the lead, because he triple resists my counters. So I switch into Lapras to draw out his water counter, and he seems to be staying in. And I'm not going to shield anything, because uh, if he doesn't have an answer to Lapras, then he's likely not going to have an answer to Empoleon, so I save both of my shields for Empoleon. And he keeps on baiting me, but I'm not going to shield anything. And I'm going to let my Lapras go down. But luckily I survive with 1 HP, and here's one of the rare occasions where the lag actually favors you, because I should have been KO'd there before he got KO'd at the same time. And it's important to not send in anything, because uh, then your opponent will have a chance to uh, counter switch and gain the switch advantage. So now it's a 50-50, and my opponent has a Swampert in the back, and I shield the Earthquake, and then he resigns. My next opponent is Emoons, and he leaves with Obstagoon, so this is amazing for me, and I expect the switch, and my opponent switches into Swampert, 
and the Swampert Switch is actually pretty terrifying for this team since it has winning scenarios against both Lapras and Empoleon. So I need to weaken it first by staying in with Escavalier to take one of his shields so that I can make sure that uh, I will uh, keep my switch advantage and that the Obstagoon will be forced to face my Escavalier later in the game. So I shield the second Earthquake and farm down. So now I am in a great position with a switch advantage and a hard counter to his Obstagoon. And he's likely not going to shield anything here. But actually he shields the second Surf, which is a huge misplay. Like this Obstagoon is already dead meat against my Escavalier, so there's absolutely no reason to shield and he should save his shield and I uh, hope that his last Pokemon can sweep the game. But uh, now it is what it is and he has a Togekiss without the shield against my Empoleon. So the shield wouldn't really matter since uh, Togekiss is walled by Empoleon. And I'm not going to shield this since it's too early for a flamethrower. And then the Obstagoon is so low that it can't handle this on its own. And the final boss of this set is Satoshi, and he leads with Shadow Ampharos, which is an interesting pick. And I really really need to defeat this Ampharos, since it is very strong against both of my water types in the back. So I will shield the first one, and then I will time my drill run so that I don't get piggybacked. And then I should be able to reach another drill run before getting KO'd. I'm not going to shield the second one, because I like saving a shield for my water types. But then I lag and I should have been able to fire off my drill run there uh, which put me in a very bad position so I have to farm down with my Empoleon and use my last shield so if he has any sort of water counter in the back I am in a, a terrible spot but he has a Behaeum or however you pronounce it uh, and with my energy advantage I'm able to reach two hydro cannons so this is suddenly turning out to be a much better position than, than uh, it could have been. And then we have a zero energy, zero shield scenario with uh, Lapras against Swampert. So in this position I have a winning play that is just to go for one Surf and one Ice Beam. And it seems like this Swampert has Sludge Wave instead of Earthquake, which I don't recommend in Premier Cup, even though uh, Sludge Wave can be situationally very strong. But yeah, Lapras just wins in this scenario, and Behem is way too low to do anything. So that's it for the 5-0 run with this team. Thanks for watching!